All right, guys. For this next video, what we're going to do is we're going to test out these new colors I got for primer. Uh, this is Badger's Steinal Res. I think that's how you say it. Um, their lineup of, th of primers is fantastic. This stuff doesn't have to be thinned. You shoot it out of the bottle, it, it looks like it goes on like sandpaper. You'll come back in an hour. It, it just totally smooths itself out. It self-levels. You can paint anything over it. It's tough as nails. This is good stuff. I recommend it for everybody. Now, I do have their standard white, black, and gray primers. I started with them, and I knew they were great. I tried the white, and the white's fantastic. I have all the primers. I haven't tried this AK brand yet. I've used the Tamiya, uh, which is pretty good. Um, of course, this lineup from Mr. Series is, is great. I love Mr. Color. Obviously, look in the background. You can see what I got there. These just came in. i got to put those on the shelf. So, um, here's what we got. We got dull pink. Metal. This is like a silver. So, I want to see what we can do with this. Maybe we'll use it as a clear base instead of doing a two-process of a shiny black and a chrome and then uh and then you know like i did in my other video put the candy colors over it maybe we can skip a step if this stuff is good enough we'll put some clears and see if that works as it's just the base it'll be shiny and it'll also be primer it'd be perfect if that works out this is oceanic blue and this is pale mustard a dull yellow so that's what we're going to do. We're going to test these out, and we're going to use plastic knives instead of spoons because I can spray both sides, and we could test two kinds of paint over the primer and get the results for different shades of uh, colors to go over the colored primer. We'll try and match the colors to go with and uh, see what the results are. I don't know. Maybe I'll try a little bit of each paint. These mass this mission paints are fantastic, and so are these new uh, MRP Mr. Paints from Slovakia. These, these things are great, too. So, that'll be the test. We'll do uh, four, four knives, two-sided, each of these, and uh, we'll check the results. All right? See you at the spray booth. All right, guys. Uh, this is for the yellow. We should say it's pale mustard. Pale mustard. Um, I sprayed a Gundam part already uh, to see how it worked with all the nooks and crannies. But uh, so all the all the tests are even. Um, I'm gonna do it on uh, about a knife as well. So let's see how this one goes. Switched up the guns. This is the Tamaya um, spray works. Uh, it's good for replicating a spray can, I guess. But the air you hear, it always has air coming through it. I don't know. It's really strange, but. It sprays these primers really well. Know how you flash dry when you hit the air on your double, on your uh, your dual purpose the your, um, airbrush. You can blow the air out to, to dry the yellow, the, any primer, the paint. This is doing it automatically because it's just it's blowing air out. Well, that's it. Pale mustard. We'll see how uh, a nice yellow goes over this or even an orange all right off to the colors all right guys next we're going to test the uh, red primer from Stano Res which is uh, Badge's famous primers uh, I, I, we're going to try it straight out of the bottle like I did the yellow and uh, this time we're going to go with some knives instead of spoons. I ran out of spare Gundam parts for the test, so we'll go with the knives. Anyway, there's the red, then we'll do the blue, and then we'll do the uh, silver. I got the silver, and then we'll try to paint over them to see the results.
trying to put it on heavy because uh, it self levels. It looks rough, but this stuff seems to really uh, dry nice. It's almost foolproof. I didn't even thin this, man. It's just straight out. It's a 0.5 needle on this cheap Aztec airbrush. That looks good. A few more perfections, but we're not building a model here. We're just testing it. All right. That came out good. We'll look at it after it dries. I'll hold it up, and we'll put some kind of red over it, obviously, to test it out. All right. On to the blue. All right, guys, up next is the blue. So, oceanic blue. We'll just go exact with that. Oceanic blue. So let's see how this goes on. The red went on pretty good. The yellow went on good. Go with a light coat at first. So you guys know I uh, I sandpapered the surface of the butter knife quickly to give it a little rough surface. Well, this stuff goes on real good. That's already done. Yeah, that went on pretty easy. Alright, on to the next, which will be silver. Alright guys, the final test of this uh, primer is, uh, let's see, what they call it? Metal. It's basically a silver primer. And I didn't even know this existed, but it came up as new. So I guess they must have added this to the lineup pretty recently. Um, it just says metal, but I think it's a silver. Uh, don't know why, maybe, for the candy bases. Like when I did my candy test, I used all different. Maybe you could just use this as a standard base, and it probably, uh, it's a one-step process. It, it's your primer, and it's your, your silver rebase. So you don't have to go crazy with all different, like I tried all of them. See what they look like, but hey, this is uh, it's a silver primer. Let's let's give it a try. Checking the air pressure here might be too high. Going on good. That side looks good, but no, it's not too bad, I guess. No, it's pretty good. No, well, that went on pretty quick. Uh, I got a five millimeter needle needle on this uh, hairbrush, so uh, I like to go uh, thicker needle when uh, putting my primers, but this is a metallic primer on top of it all. It's got some dirt specs, but like I said, we're not building a model. I just want to see how it comes out. So, very good. All right, we'll let them dry for a while, and then we'll uh, pick some paints to cover them with. All right, see you in the next phase. All right, guys, for the first, we're going to try the silver knife, one side. I'm going to try this uh, Mission Models uh, Wataki Blue, Blue Green. It's a clear coat over faded aluminum. All right. So, I take this as faded aluminum. It's matte. Looks like aluminum. So, let's see how it comes out. I'm using the new GSI Mr. Hobby Trigger 5mm airbrush.
I tell you to airbrush this stuff close, so that's what we're going to try. be some speckles and whatnot and we're not looking for perfection because we're just testing on a knife I didn't sand it or anything so we'll see what this looks like at the end when it dries up went on good though all right so for over the uh, dull pink we're gonna go with mr. color clear GX deep clear red so I figured instead of going over a silver, let's go over this dull red with this clear red and see what we get. You see the results on these clears more over a white or a silver, but because this is a dark red, it would take a little longer to see the results, but it's building up. There it goes. went on great it's pretty deep if you've seen it uh, in person it's almost brown very nice I mean here's the primer very good on to the next color all right uh, for the next over pale mustard we're gonna go with to color again, GX clear gold. It looks like gold in the cup, but uh, it's, it's clear gold. I want to try it over this, see if we can get like a deep. It might, I hope it shows up on camera, but uh, I want to see what the results is. Like I said, we're going to try different stuff over these different colors, so let's see what it looks like. I have no idea. Metal particles stirred up in there. Oh, yeah, it's coming out nice. I used a leveling thinner in this, so, and I used a rapid thinner, which makes it dry fast. Keeping the metallic uh, particles, I guess, tighter together. That's what they claim, so let's see how it comes out. That's done. Yeah, it looks terrific. It's a great color. Not quite yellow, not quite gold. It's got a nice pearlescent. This is a very good color. This will look good on a, on a Gundam. All right, off to the next color. All right, guys, the next one we're going to go with uh, the blue, oceanic blue. It's a, it's a dull, boy, the, the camera makes everything look different, but uh, it's almost a slate blue. It looks blue here, but it's a slate blue. I'm going to get to something close to it. I'll try this. Uh, this is metallic blue-green. It looks bright blue there, but it almost looks like the same color as this. See it? But... I wish the camera would uh, show up. I think it's these LED lights that are changing everything. But let's give it a shot.
goes on nice. That's it. It looks just like the cap. That's pretty damn close. Boy, the camera don't make it look like that, but it does here. Something to do with the metallics and these LED lights. I'm sorry, guys. But, take my word for it, it looks terrific. That's it before. All right, off to the next color. All right, guys, back to the red. I'm going to do the flip side now. Um, I've heard it a thousand times. Yellow goes good over red primer. So we're going to go with uh, orange yellow. A little different. Um, one of my favorite colors in the Mr. Color lineup. Uh, I got two bottles of this, so might as well use one as a test. Uh, orange yellow, we're going to try it over this pink primer because that's what comes recommended to me by several airbrush experts. So here we go. Never done it before. It's probably gonna take a few times to build it up. I switched airbrushes. I went to the, uh, the two mil mil um, millimeter uh, needle. My other Mr. Color airbrush. Yeah, it's going on good. to get in close when you want it to come out shiny. If you're getting your paint dull out of your airbrush, it's too far away. It's almost drying by the time it hits. But uh, that's the other red we use from them, and there it is. Orange yellow, and boy, you know, it came out great. You wouldn't even know there was red primer under it. it gives it a deeper look, I think. Very good. Very good. All right, guys, on to the next. All right, guys, we're going to go over the blue. We already did the blue-green metallic over that. Um, I'm going to go with a bright blue. I want to see what, how a bright blue comes out over that dull grayish blue. This is sky blue. Uh, Mr. Color Aqueous. This is their acrylic lacquer. Um, let's see how that comes out. It might take a little bit of building up. I thinned it pretty much. It's almost uh, like milk. So this is pretty dark compared to this. So going to see how uh, these two blend. Let's do it now. I can tell that to get that bright blue, obviously it's going to have to go over white for sure but we know that we know that so we're trying these colored primers with different colors combinations to see the results sometimes you don't want a raging bright color in the Gundam yeah, that's it Here's the other color Came out great. Came out great. Just hang it with some air so I can dry it. Great. All right, on to the next. 
All right, we're going with the yellow. Uh, we already did the uh, clear gold on one side. Uh, I should say pale mustard. Uh, we're gonna try, I haven't used these yet. These are AK third gen acrylics. This is deep yellow. Get this camera to focus. There it is. Hey, okay. so these uh oh, get the camera in. These acrylics are uh, some can be tricky, some are fantastic. The mission paints are fantastic. This could be a slow build. Uh, we get so much brighter it is. I don't know how it's, it's going to come out much deeper because it's going not going up all white. But uh, let's see what we got. Here you know what's going on. A little better than some other. I put this retarder in it. They just released this retarder. Um, the, the acrylics dry too fast. And uh, the leveling thinner has a retarder in it for the lacquers. But um, not many retarders for these acrylics. They, uh, Tamaya was the only one that I had. Uh, Tamaya has a lacquer-based acrylic. This is not. This is a pure acrylic. But uh, that could mean the difference right there, that, that retarder. Because it's going on good. dusting and stuff, like I said, just testing the paints over the acrylics. Big contrast when you look at the gold. Hey, it came out great. Intense, almost matches the color perfect. Beautiful. All right, on to the last one. All right, guys, we're gonna go with Mission Model Paints. Pearl Tropical Orange over the silver. Silver primer. Um, the yellow iridescent was great. Let's see how this works. Already starting to cover. Very nice. I didn't think I would have had enough in the cup, but it's covering really good. Nothing bad to say about these Mission paints yet, boy, these are good. Highly recommended. And if you're watching this in uh, America, that's where they're made, so they're easy to get. And it is nice. All right, we'll wrap this up and uh, we'll lay all the colors out, the knives out, and we'll compare them and wrap this uh, whole test up. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to do this holding the camera, so not as steady as I normally do this. But uh, here is the conclusion um, here's your yellow primer, silver primer. The ocean blue primer and the pale pink primer. And over each one, I have it listed. This is the AK Deep Yellow on one side. Uh, it came out terrific. Um, smooth. It made the color even a little deeper probably than if I did it on uh, a white primer. So that came out great. And behind it we have the Mr. Color GX, the clear gold. Let's flip that over. And there's that. Oh, it's close to the lid, a little brighter. And um, that came out good too. It doesn't change the color too much. But it is going. it was going over yellow, so it's close to uh, keeping the true color. Uh, it probably would come out a smidge brighter if you uh, put it over white, you know, but 
we're testing it this way and that is that one next up is the silver Oop, knocking stuff over here's the silver they call it metal and um, first one here we have mission model paints it's a blue green clear over the silver now it comes out dull but this is I believe this isn't a shiny color I think this is a a dull color it's supposed to symbolize corrosion I believe so and let's check the flip side this came out smooth these mission paints are terrific um, tropical pearl orange let's see what we got all right that one came out terrific again not shiny but I believe that's how these come there's uh, they, their gloss is terrific I uh, I just glossed this Subaru themed Gundam here with their mission gloss you can see how great their gloss is so uh, if you wanted to have that shine I'll go over it or even the matte I would leave it alone particularly on a Gundam but uh, that was over the silver primer terrific all right now we have oceanic blue and the first color on top is this acrylic lacquer aqueous now it didn't come out as bright it looks close here but there's more in, of an intensity if you put it over white but again, again we weren't testing it over white we wanted to see how it came over blue now it, it comes out yeah it's like a slate blue again these LED lights above they seem to uh, color things a little differently but uh, it's it it is a slate blue but it's terrific it's almost the color of the blue if the camera could actually show but uh, it came out great and the flip side Mr. Color metallic blue green uh, this is very close to the cap you can't it doesn't look at here but it does here in person it came out smooth smooth uh, a little uh, a little deeper again you'd want it to be bright you got to put it over white if you want to have a duller results if you're making a Gundam a little more war machine like you, know, you, you don't want it too bright anyway so that's over the blue and the last one is the dull pink and the first color over the dull pink mr. color clear deep red and uh, it's deep red that is a that's a very good looking color if I can tip it without too much light it's closer to what it looks like here in person that deeper color the light reflecting it uh, isn't helping you guys see but it's close to the color on the lid and uh, pretty nice pretty good this comes out great over the pink really good and over the pink as I said when I shot the video of spraying it they say yellow goes great over pink primer or red primer so I wanted to try it and um, they were right it, 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 it comes out great and you can see what you're painting too you know as you're doing it you know this is a favorite color of mine this orange yellow so I wanted to try that and uh, it came out good it came out really good smooth a little bit deeper than the cover so yeah you can see it there and that's over red and um, that is it that is the conclusion um, they're terrific the, the, you know this is not a test for all these paints even though some of these mission paints I haven't really tried yet and this is the first time I shot this yellow from this AK and uh, you see the results that came out great too so these new AK paints are great and these new mission paints are absolutely terrific highly recommended um, here's my rack of them here I mean they even have mecha colors you can see this, this is iridescent blue I believe there's a mecha blue bright mecha blue um, I recommend these guys uh, highly recommended but uh, this is a video of course for the primers and the primers are terrific and there's even more colors than this there's way more color there's a green a primer I guess I'm gonna have to try and uh, here's the white is the black and the gray so this is what I have so and they're cheap they go a long way you don't have to thin them uh, they clean out of the airbrush really well uh, and l let me tell you, there's about, there's got to be about 15, 10 to 15 more colors. Different shades of gray, different shades of red, different shades of the blue. And I think, I think there's a different shade of this. And they have tan if you're going to do skin tones. So there's a ton of primers out there. This, I think, will come in handy, this metal. I don't have to do uh, uh, 
a chrome base if I want to do a, a candy coat like I showed my spoons uh, a candy coat with my spoons over there um, but uh, pick these up I got these on eBay and some of these these I got on eBay some of these were sent to me so um, highly recommended I'd go out and grab them and um, the results speak for themselves and that's it for now guys off to the next video you guys have a great day